said hello what is up everyone this is going to be a general reading for Aries for the next week I'm going to be doing Aries tonight and Taurus just a heads up Aries and Taurus tonight they're going to be singular videos and I will be uploading them to my YouTube channel if y'all are interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel, the link to my YouTube channel is in my TikTok bio. I don't want y'all to miss out on future readings, and just in case you do have to miss out on a reading, you won't miss out on a reading if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, which, speaking of my YouTube channel, the first live videos that I did this past weekend last night were a success and uh, you're more than welcome to watch them when you go and subscribe it was uh, a forecast for the next uh, six months fire signs earth signs air signs and water signs said poops and pops in at 333 what are the odds lol it is pretty crazy yeah it's uh 633 where i'm at i said hey what up hello today's my birthday and name day sweet um i had a card fly said hello aries here me too 634 nice hope y'all are doing a-okay uh, as I mentioned, this is going to be a singular reading, a singular video for you Aries. I will be uploading this live stream to YouTube. Uh, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is in my TikTok bio. And y'all missed out on a pretty awesome six months forecast for the fire signs last night. My very first live videos last night were a success. And it, it definitely took a lot out of me, but I got through in one piece. Hope y'all are doing A-OK, -okay, staying safe and sound. I know it's a beautiful weather here in Ohio. Hope y'all can say the same. If y'all are new here, definitely hit that follow button. It is muchly appreciated. If y'all like the energy I bring to the Tarot TikTok table, definitely hit that like button, maybe even a few times. Like, 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 like. And if you would like to share this with a specific Aries somewhere in your life, no matter what area they reside in, definitely hit that share button. It does not have to be an Aries that you're about to share this live video with. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. Please subscribe to it because I did a forecast for the next six months, uh, being Aries being the first uh, season for the next uh, astrological year. All right, and yeah, I did do four videos, four live videos last night. It was a success. No matter if it drained me or it took a lot out of me, it was a success. Definitely check them out when you get some free time. But with that being said, I'm about to do the bridge shuffle for y'all. One, two, three. All right. If y'all are new here, when I do the bridge shuffle, that is the green light to send scissors or anything sharp and pointy of the emoji variety. Ah, this deck is a little bit uh, tiny. I said, yay, scissors, yep. This deck is a little bit tiny, but it is the Prisma Visions Tarot. Prisma Visions. And then I'm going to be clarifying with the Light Visions Tarot. Prisma Visions and Light Visions. Okay, 
go ahead and send scissors or anything sharp and pointy of the emoji variety. And I'm going to get an overall theme and or topic for the Aries Collective while y'all are sending scissors or anything sharp and pointy. What do we have for Aries? Overall theme and or topic for the next week. Here we go. A two and a six. Two meaning harmony, opposites attracting, coming into union, uniting to some degree. Uh, something coming into balance for you. Maybe the six having something to do with momentum away from conflict, solutions, light after dark. Um, this could be another person is wanting to help bring something into balance in order to bring momentum away from conflict, to find creative and or practical solutions um, and or illuminate some truth to you after a time of darkness, meaning confusion, possibly fear, uh, lack of clarity. I am going to keep the overall theme and or topic in mind during the reading. Thank you all for interacting with me in the comments. We're going to go ahead and cut the deck here. One more time, if you're new here, definitely hit that follow button. It is greatly appreciated. If you like the energy I bring to the Tarot TikTok table, definitely hit that like button. And hit the share button if you have an Aries, no matter what area they reside in your life. We're going to go ahead and get into this reading, shall we? I think we shall. I think we shall. All right, Aries, sun, moon, and or rising, maybe even Venus. Here is your situation. Here is the challenge. Here is your person's energy. Here is the uh, similarities or common ground between you both. And here is the possible outcome and or advice. All right, so Aries, we do have five cards here on the tarot TikTok table. Here in about 20, 21 minutes, we will clarify with five more cards, one card per each placement within the spread. And then we will recap for anyone new joining the live stream at that time. Does not have to be an Aries, but I sure as heck would love it if they were an Aries. That'd be uh, pretty synchronistic. The right place at the right time, would it not? Alrighty. Uh, thank you all for joining me one more time. They said, hi, hello. They said, yay, scissors, yep. Alrighty. Thank you all for joining me. We're going to get right into your reading. I said, yay, lol. <laughs> All right, uh, starting your reading off with the High Priestess. The High Priestess, hello, I'm on the cusp of Aries and Taurus. Nice, you wanna, you might want to stay for the next uh, two hours then. I do a, an hour reading per zodiac sign. I'm going to be ending this live stream and going right into Taurus right afterwards. <clears throat> so, yes, Aries, you are starting off this reading. Watching for an Aries Venus, okay. Um, I feel with the High Priestess, you might be uh, trying to differentiate the difference between your ego and your intuition, obviously or not so obvious. Um, when we are listening to our intuition, it will tell us, hey, you have healed enough to trust yourself enough, to trust another person, to trust a situation in general, no matter if it's romantic or uh, platonic, or maybe it's uh, work involved, ro uh, work oriented. It's almost as if you could be using your intuition right now and saying, hey, it's safe for me to trust another person. It's safe for me to uh, invest my time, money, energy, effort, into another person, into this work environment, into this uh, neighborhood that I'm relocating into. No matter the, uh, the example, I feel like you're being silent with a specific person. With the High Priestess, uh, this does talk a little bit about silence. I'm not sure if it's uh, necessarily the silent treatment per se. It's almost as if you're like, whoa, hold on a sec. Let me view this from a different perspective. Am I using my intuition? and wanting something out of this person or am I, uh, no, am I listening to my ego and wanting something some, uh, from this person or am I listening to my intuition and uh, looking at what I need from this person? I need to just gather my thoughts here. I need to uh, give myself some space, allow myself to have space 
I feel like this person did or said something that was uh, a little off bounds or uh, maybe disrespectful. It definitely could have been. I feel like maybe they didn't do something or they didn't say something that they should have possibly. And you're like, let me let me use my intuition here. If I use my ego, I'm going to go all in and tell this person about themselves. And we all know how Aries can be when they get angry. It's like you're going to see the god and or goddess of war come out. You're going to see that side of me and it's not going to be pretty. It's like, let me set some boundaries here. Let me be silent. Let me listen to what my intuition is telling me about why they behaved in this way, why they said what they said. Maybe why they didn't do what they should have. Maybe why they didn't say what they should have. You know, some tells the Aries that maybe you should give this person the benefit of the doubt, but you're like, let me just use my intuition real quick. I do feel like with the three of wands in the challenge, three of wands, uh, that you might find it challenging to be patient on this person, to wait on this person, to make a move, to say something they need to be saying. Maybe you are waiting for an apology to some degree. I mean, that's that has a lot to do with ego as well. It's like uh, this person could be feeling a little egoic and or prideful and maybe stubborn at the same time. And it's like, maybe they're confused. Maybe they are in fear of something. I do feel like uh, fear and or confusion is all a branch of the ego. And it's like, I'm no longer waiting on that apology. I know I'm not going to get an apology. They're too stubborn. They're too prideful. It's whatever, says the Aries. It's whatever. You know, they did what they did. They said what they said, or they didn't do what they should have, or they didn't say what they should have, and I'm over it, but I still want to use my intuition on how to move forward with this person. Um, I don't know why I'm getting the feeling that maybe a lot of Aries are feeling distracted as well. I do feel like you could be distracted at this time. Almost as if uh, you find it challenging to be productive. It's like maybe you are staying silent, you trying to uh, use your intuition, but like the topic in regards to this person, it's like, ah, I just want to be productive. I want to be in my own energy, my own fiery energy here in airy season. Why can't I get anything done, you know, while I'm talking or not talking, while I'm thinking about this person? I do feel like with this person in five of cups energy, Five of Cups. It's technically Five of Chalices, but a chalice is a cup. So, yeah, they're definitely... Uh, I don't want to say they're pessimistic at this time, but they're not recognizing all of the beautiful things, the blessings that they have in their life. They're not recognizing that, hey, maybe I mistreated the Aries, or maybe that is what they're recognizing, and they're like, I'm sitting in regret, I'm sitting in shame. It's like, man... I totally lost out on this beautiful person, the Aries, and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do to fix it. I don't know what to do in order to, you know, make things right. They're looking more so at the loss. They're looking more so at the problem. They're not recognizing that, hey, there is a solution. You know, hey, you still have them in your life. They're still alive. They're still trying to be productive. No matter if uh, Aries finds it challenging to be productive with the uh, Three of Wands in the challenge. Um, with the Five of Chalice, it's like this person, yeah, is crying over spilled milk, basically. They're, they're looking at the three cups that are spilt, and they're more so focused on those three cups that are spilt instead of looking in their environment like, hey, I still have food in my stomach. I still have clothes on my back, shoes on my feet, a roof over my head, a working car, hopefully, you know, a good paying job, hopefully, friends and family that love me, hopefully, anyways, I don't know this person personally, you know, but I'm going to assume that this person still has blessings in their life, 
they just are not choosing to uh, recognize those blessings. They're choosing to look at the loss that they have with possibly you. It doesn't have to be in regards to you, but I mean, this is your reading. So why would this person be focused on something of a loss in their environment possibly? Maybe they are focused on a loss in their environment that has nothing to do with you. You know, maybe you are expecting them to come through with something and then they have some sort of bad news in regards to maybe work or a family member or, you know, maybe a friend. It's like, oh my goodness, this is the worst news. And Aries is like, huh, let me use my intuition on this situation in regards to this person. You know, how can I help them out maybe? How can I uh, get them to see a different perspective how can I get them to recognize they have blessings in their life still? It's like, okay, I'm not going to wait for this person to ask for help or assistance or ask for me to cheer them up. You know, I'm, I'm just going to use my intuition, be silent for a split second. Um, for whatever reason, we have the page of wands and the similarities are common ground between you both. So there is some sort of exciting news in regards to both of you. I don't know if you both feel like really passionate towards each other or excited that each other are still in each other's life. Um, I feel like when you both are together, there is a lot of like playful energy. There's a lot of like giddiness, like hee hee hee, you know, one of those. I said, do you think they are looking for pity? Um, a pity party? Uh... I suppose five of chalices, I suppose, could be a pity party. Is it way too accurate? Okay. Um, I'm not sure, though. That's a good question. I don't normally view the five of chalices as a pity party. Sure, uh, crying over spilled milk is the go-to interpretation of the five of cups, but I try not to use it too often because it seems a little insensitive. Um, so then in that regard, a pity party would seem a little bit insensitive as well. Um, but I don't want to discard that interpretation either. Um, but yeah, I, I do feel like now, let me, let me, uh, bring this to mind. Is it, oh, alrighty, I don't know, just thinking, or just, it has hurt them that much. I think they're pretty hurt. Yeah, five of cups, they could be really hurt. Um, I don't feel like they meant anything malicious towards the Aries. Not necessarily. We're going to have to clarify, but yeah, as of their primary energy, it doesn't look like they're, you know, wanting to be deceitful or malicious towards you. They have good intentions as far as the first card. Uh, Page of Wands. Yes, I do feel like you both are very giddy and childlike around each other. Uh, there's a lot of excitement in your conversations. Uh, very fiery. I'm not sure if this person is a fire sign. It could be a water sign, five of cups. Um, they could also be a fire sign though, like yourself. <clears throat> uh, it could be with the page of wands that yes, maybe you both are about to receive some sort of good news in the next week as I do weekly readings. So there's been a lot of conflict lately. Exciting news would be refreshing. Um, I mean, I did get the six momentum away from conflict uh, when I rolled the dice. So uh, this good news could be in regard to possibly your money, Aries. And I say that because we do have nine of pentacles and the possible outcome and or advice. If this is the possible outcome, maybe this good news is in regards to uh, maybe you're getting a raise. I don't want to feed y'all false hope, but it's possible. Um, as I said, I don't want to feed y'all false hope. Maybe that good news that, uh, that you're about to receive, this person and you are about to receive, it's a possibility that it could be about a raise. It's only a possibility though. Um, there's a potential for it. And just like in relationships, we don't want to base our relationship off of, oh, there's potential. There's potential here. You know, we have emotions for each other. So yeah, let's move things forward. Even though you're a billionaire and I'm homeless. 
You know, there's potential because we have emotions. There's potential because we have chemistry. Um, or because we work together. It's like, whoa, first off, don't sleep where you eat. Or y'all know what I'm saying. Said, or a big purchase, possibly. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, the possible outcome. I do feel like uh, you'll look at possibly staying single just for a little bit longer for the next week, possibly. Um, looking at how can I make myself more comfortable in my environment. I'm not sure if this person has anything to do with you being more comfortable in your environment or that you're uh, about to come into uh, some sort of comfortability financially. But yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Especially if I have a lot of Aries out there that have already sent out their taxes, their tax returns, you know, uh, something to that degree. Nine of Pentacles could definitely be that where you're getting your tax returns and or... Uh, you know, you're more comfortable in that sense to where you can spend your money a little bit more freely, um, get some bills paid off where they need to be paid off or taken care of. Um, if you aren't already in a serious relationship with them, then yeah, stay single for just the next week. If you are in a relationship already with them, then just allow the uh, relationship to slowly, you know, progress. Maybe you was, to some degree, waiting on some sort of news, uh, positive movement forward, momentum. Or maybe you were waiting on a raise with the Three of Wands. Maybe you was waiting on some sort of resource for your job, a resource for a hobby. Or maybe even a resource or some advice on this relationship. And it's like, eh, I'm, I'm no longer uh, waiting. It's like maybe you find it challenging to wait because you've already received some word of uh, good news. You've already received, you know, those resources. It definitely could have been. So what about married couples? Um, if this is possible outcome for the Nine of Pentacles and you're a married couple, Aries, I feel like the next week is uh, going to be very comfortable for you, either financially or material. You know, in that regard, I feel like it's a very comfortable, it's a very comfortable week ahead for the Aries ahead. And if this is the advice, Nine of Pentacles, uh, get comfortable in this relationship, in this marriage, you know, uh, settle down in this marriage, let everything settle down, let this person chill out, you know, let this person realize, hey, you're already married to them, you know, so even if they are to some degree, uh, crying over spilled milk, it's like, okay, well, recognize that you have a, uh, a wife or a husband that you're married to as an Aries that isn't going anywhere. It's not like the Aries is uh, signing up for a divorce or anything, like, anytime soon. You know, to some degree, maybe they did say or do something, and it kind of, like, irked you a little bit, but it's, it's not, you know, so heart-shattering or, like, anything to that regard that you have to you know, uh, get a lawyer or sign the force papers or anything of that nature. It's like nine of pentacles. Uh, just keep, uh, doing what you're doing at work. Keep doing what you're doing at work. Maybe, uh, you know, keep your mind on creating a comfortable environment for them so they can recognize, Oh, that's, that's right. I do have more blessings. Uh, it could be a reminder that you're needing to give this person that, Hey, uh, I wonder how it would be like if uh, we lived in Africa, you know? I wonder what it would be like to have these relationship issues if we lived in Africa or in North Korea or, you know what I'm saying, some to that regard. Like, remind them, hey, we're definitely more comfortable than a lot more people in the world, than a lot of people in the world, you know? So... I don't know. Give them that reminder that they definitely could have holes in their shoes or, you know, they could be missing a shirt. They could uh, lose out on their job. Like, remind them that, hey, I'm still here. You know, I'm just, maybe I am silent, but I'm not giving you the silent treatment per se. You know, I'm just trying to differentiate the difference between my intuition and my ego. 
I do not want to, you know, move forward in fear and or in confusion. Because how this situation needs to be handled is with love, is with care. By nurturing the situation. It might be that you need to uh, nurture the situation alone for the next week until this person, like, gets their head out of their butt talks, you know, and stops stops with the, uh, the pity party, realizes that, hey, just because there is spilled milk doesn't mean we can't go to the grocery store and buy more milk. In fact, there's different flavors of milk that we can buy. There's chocolate milk. There's strawberry milk. Um... For some, maybe the Aries uh, that I'm talking to like that uh, that mint, chocolate chip mint milk. I don't think I've tried it before, but I mean, it's a possibility, you know? Let this person know, hey, we got options. We are more comfortable, you know, than you're giving us credit for. They said, could they be becoming more rich with love or feelings, not in a money form? I suppose that could be. Uh, maybe the advice here for the Aries is to uh, get more comfortable with this relationship because this person, yes, does want to be here for the long term, but I almost feel like they're more pessimistic and or viewing the negative aspects of this relationship. Um, remind them of all the, you know, yes, potential, but also, I don't know. I feel like some sort of news could be coming forth for you in the next week, though, with the Page of Wands. Something you are no longer waiting on, a manifestation, let's say. It's like, I find it challenging to wait on this, either because I've just lost my patience, or because you were so patient that it already came through. It's like, I find it challenging to open up my Christmas presents because Christmas is already long gone, you know? It's so much of a challenge to open my Christmas presents because I've already opened them. You know what I'm saying? The the logic in that. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling so we can get a deeper uh, interpretation and or clarify this reading. It said typical Aries. Oh, goodness. I hope that was, uh, I hope that comment was from an Aries. Because, I mean, yeah, that would almost seem a little rude if it wasn't, but neither here nor there. Uh, if y'all are new here, definitely hit that follow button. It said, yep, impatient. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I mean, as a fire sign, it don't even have to be Aries. I'm a fire sign. I'm a Leo. So I definitely know uh, what it feels like to be a little bit impatient. I definitely can resonate with that and or relate to. Uh, but with that being said, uh, if y'all would like to share this video with a, another Aries or just an Aries that uh, you feel would love to experience this reading, then yes, definitely go ahead and do so. If y'all like the energy I bring to the tarot TikTok table, then definitely hit that like button, maybe even a few times. Like, 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 like. And I do have a YouTube channel. If in case y'all miss a future reading in the future, um, yes, go ahead and subscribe to it. The link to my YouTube channel is in my TikTok bio. And in case y'all missed last night's live YouTube videos, my first four live YouTube videos, I was so excited to do them. And then I was so excited when they were done. Um, and I felt so accomplished. It was a little bit draining, like I said, but I'm not going to focus on that. I got them done, and I feel like the readings are pretty helpful for the next six months. The overview or overcast uh, for the next six months. Definitely check them out when you have the time to do so. And uh, what else? So yes, I did also personal paid readings. Those were pretty successful as well last night. Uh, personal paid readings are every Sunday through Cash App. Make sure you have a working Cash App. I do appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and clarify, shall we? I think I've said everything I need to. All right, three more. A one, a two, 
a three. All right, y'all. Said, you seemed a bit nervous in the live, at least during the Earth reading. You and Amber are my favorite. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I was definitely nervous. I'm so comfortable here on TikTok. It's like, it's, it's like nothing. Um, but I feel like YouTube is definitely a bigger platform. There's, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just more comfortable here on TikTok now. I, there's, there's a lot I'm unaware of, of like, not only the rules, but like what I can create on YouTube, you know? So yeah, I was definitely nervous. Uh, in the fire signs readings and the earth signs readings the whole time I was nervous I don't know if y'all could tell but yeah, I know at least one person could y you just said so but If y'all are new here, that was the bridge shuffle Go ahead and send me scissors or anything sharp and pointy of the emoji variety. I think my thing is I was like more so nervous because I only had like two or three or four at the most viewers on those videos so it's like I don't know when there's more people viewing me it's it's easier to just like whatever I have almost 50 you know viewers watching me it's it's whatever I'm I'm comfortable I have a big crowd it's less you know there's less um room to I don't know it's so weird like that when I only have four people viewing me it's like the pressure's on all four people are going to you know are going to notice any mistakes or like I notice when one person loses interest and they're like, eh, he's doing a good job. Awesome for him. I'm going to switch over to watching something else. And it's like, man, I'm feeling the pressure. I don't want them to, you know, get uninterested and then everything else. And it's like, why do I put so much pressure on myself to do a good job when it's only four people? But then, you know, why am I so comfortable around almost 50 you know, viewers, or a hundred viewers, 150, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so weird, so contradicting. Uh, they said, I like your hair. Uh, thank you, I like your hair as well, even though I'm not able to see it from just uh, your account profile. Just do your thing, you're great, man. I so appreciate it, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I uh, don't give myself enough credit uh, where I need to, but hey, I'm only human, you know what I mean? We're going to go ahead and cut the deck. And I feel like that's a part of my, uh, my Virgo assist, uh, assistant, ascendant, Virgo rising. You know, I'm such a worry wart. I'm such a perfectionist. You know, I want to get things right the first time and I don't want to make mistakes. I don't want to have to, you know, view not only the project as a failure, but myself. And yeah, so there's a lot of pressure said hello from Los Angeles hello to you as well all right y'all we're going to go ahead and clarify this reading for you Aries Sun Moon and or rising maybe even Venus clarifying the high priestess in your energy clarifying the three of wands and the challenge clarifying the five of chalices and or five of cups and this person's energy clarifying the page of wands and this person's energy, or the similarities or common ground between you both, and clarifying the nine of pinnacles, hmm, and your possible outcome and or advice. Uh, thank you all for interacting with me in the comments. All the scissors, all the sharp and pointy objects of the emoji variety, muchly appreciated. Muchly. All right, y'all, uh, a quick drink. And actually, I had planned on those live YouTube videos to uh, do 20-minute uh, long readings. But then I was realizing that, oh no, that's too long. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this work for me, not against me. So I did like about 10, 15-minute readings. And uh, in between the live videos, I had about the same 5, 10-minute, you know, breaks in between so I could catch my breath, get something to drink, you know, so it, it really helps that I, uh, did things in that way. Alrighty. Uh, thank y'all for all the love and support. It is muchly appreciated. We're going to go ahead and recap and then clarify as we go. So, High Priestess is how you are showing up 
High Priestess, Aries. <clears throat> so I follow you on YouTube, but I did not know you were on last night. Yeah, it was about from noon, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to about uh, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There were literally an hour long live videos, but uh, technically I only took 45 minutes out of those hour or out of that hour of each video. But yeah, I set it up to where I would have an hour to do things. But yeah, any hoosers. Um, Aries, I do feel like you are starting out this reading in High Priestess energy, meaning you're about to use your intuition and or attempt to use your intuition and know the difference between your intuition and your ego. It's like your intuition will say, hey, maybe it's time, you know, to be silent. Not because, you know, it's not safe to invest my energy into this person. Not because uh, maybe they did do something wrong, say, uh, said something wrong, per se. I feel like you're creating a boundary. You're letting this person miss you. That's very important in relationships. You know, we don't want to smother each other. It's like your intuition be, could be saying, hey, love yourself first. That's all it has to be. Love yourself first. It's not like you're being deceitful and or wanting to punish them or manipulate the situation via a, a silent treatment, which is very manipulative if those are the intentions you're setting, Aries. I feel like you're more so protecting yourself. Your intuition is saying, hey, something's up. This person could be uh, looking for a, a pity party. So it's like, uh, I need to protect myself. This is coming across as emotional manipulation on their part. So then yes, high priestess to the seven of wands. It's like, whoa, my intuition is saying I need to protect, uh, protect my energy, not project, protect my energy, seven of wands. I got to push this person away. Uh, be defensive, stand up for what I believe in, stand up for what I'm doing, what I'm saying. I know I'm doing the right thing. And if this person doesn't believe me, you know, if they feel like uh, they have a problem with my identity or what I'm identifying as, who I'm d identifying as, keep in mind, Aries season has a lot to do with identity, the ego, you know, but I feel like with the high priestess, a lot of the Aries already know that uh, we don't need, or yeah, the Aries don't necessarily need an ego boost per se. Sure, maybe you would love it if uh, your person is obsessed with you to some degree, but it's like, whoa, I don't want to be smothered necessarily. I I'm going to push this person away just a little bit and give myself some space. You know, let them know, hey, it's okay if we miss each other. Uh, distance makes the heart grow fonder. You know, it is okay that we miss each other to some degree. This really bugs me. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm all the way up here, you know, and I'm doing the reading, and yeah. Hello, now I'm more centered. Sheesh. Any hoosers. There's that perfectionist again. <laughs> yeah, I feel like High Priestess to the uh, Seven of Wands tells me that, yeah, standing your ground is not a bad idea. Standing up has been causing the conflict. Distance is best right now. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like maybe you are using your intuition because of standing your ground. That's a good point. I try to use uh, interpretations as in like one interpretation based off of two cards, but I don't always, you know, come to that conclusion. It's like, yeah, because of standing up for myself. This person could be feeling a little sad, depressed, you know, uh, and regret feeling a little shame. It's like, okay, I need to be silent because I've, you know, been standing up for myself a little too much, maybe a little too much. Um, with the three of wands in the challenge, Candace says they feel attacked. It definitely could be. I mean, Feeling attacked from a, uh, a warrior and a god or goddess of war being the Ares? No way. There's no way this person could feel attacked uh, from a god or goddess of war. JK, that's, that's sarcasm coming through. But yeah, uh, three of wands. I feel like 
you're not going to wait on this person. I feel like maybe you have waited on this person to some degree to, uh, you know, uh, fix the issue, fix their behavior, fix the problem, or at least attempt to come up with some sort of solution, right? If not self-improvement, then at least offering a solution. Because, yeah, there can be a solution that is very successful. <clears throat> no matter if it's a uh, creative solution, no matter if it's a productive solution, you know, uh, maybe to some degree a practical solution would be following the rules. Maybe to some degree with a creative solution, we have to think outside the box and or uh, maybe more creative, you know? You're wanting some sort of success, some sort of victory, an answer, a solution. And it's like, I'm not getting it just yet from this person, so I find it challenging with the Three of Wands to wait on that success. I find it difficult to wait on them. Maybe even find it challenging to be productive, you know, when I can move forward and have my own success in my own life and or, you know, I could come up with the solution just by being silent and listening to my intuition. So I've been very patient, been needing clarity. I, I definitely feel that, you know, it's like, okay, this person isn't giving me clarity, so I need to go within and seek some sort of clarity based off of how I know this person, how much I know about this person, how deeply I know them. It's like, is there a lack of depth uh, to be had from this situation? Do I not know this person as well as I thought I did? Let me take a step back after standing up for what I believe in because maybe this person doesn't realize who I am. Maybe they don't realize the blessing I am as an Aries. Not me, per se, but yeah, putting myself in y'all's shoes. Because yeah, they definitely don't realize what kind of blessing they have in their life with the Five of Cups. They're more so uh, looking at the negative aspects. They're more so in regret. They're shameful, possibly. They're like, man, I really did a number on the Aries. I miss them. And now they're gone. I should probably cry over spilled milk because what I did was wrong. And there's a problem. It's like, okay. But as long as you're focused on the problem, we're never going to have a solution. You're always going to be in this, uh, you know, negative Nancy or uh, Debbie Downer energy, you know? And yeah, I feel like you did trigger this person, Aries, to some degree. With the strength card, they definitely could be holding themselves back and or wanting to uh, not be triggered, wanting to look at these triggers, yes. But it's like, man, I'm such a, down a Debbie Downer. I, I'm really messed up. They triggered me and now I don't want to be triggered again. I'm trying to tame the beast within and not be triggered again. You know, there definitely could have been something you did uh, in regards to standing up for yourself um, that triggered this person. It's like, are they even taking into account that what they did or said uh, made you react in such a way that then triggered them? It's like, oh my goodness, what is even going on here? You know, I don't feel like they're necessarily playing, you know what I'm saying, uh, a pity party or the blame game or... Um, playing victim per se but it's like hey you know if you're going to open that can of worms said no they're not taking that into a, a, into consideration lol right like of course it's like oh aries you're such a this this and that and it's like really says the aries i'm going to stand up for myself i'm going to stand up for what i believe whoa oh my goodness i'm triggered oh my goodness what did i do uh or like poor me and it's like okay but did you realize what you said, what you did to get me into that, you know, seven of wands energy? Are you realizing that? You know what I'm saying? Cause and effect, exactly. Exactly. This is exactly it. I've been very patient. Uh, been needing clarity. I read that already. Said, you so right, LOL. I mean, goodness gracious. I feel for this person, but at the same time, like, cause and effect, like y'all are saying. Exactly. No self-awareness of their own behavior and how it affects others. Nailed it right there. 
any hoosers, um, Page of Wands, I feel, comes off as immature, unfortunately, as Scorpio. No, don't feel for this person. Oh, well, oh, man. Yes, Scorpio is still Thursday. No, don't feel for this person. It said, and Aries will call you out. Hey, y'all have the, uh, y'all have the right to call out uh, anyone on their BS. It said, not what I miss, but so far, it's all relevant. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you both could be very excited in the next week, Monday to Monday. I'm not sure if it's in regards to each other. Maybe this person does grow a pair and either apologize or offer a solution. Maybe you just end up uh, talking to someone else and it gets you very excited. Maybe this person ends up talking to someone else and it's very exciting. Um, I do feel like if that is the case, no matter if it's towards each other, that you both are excited to get back into each other's uh, good graces um, or the opposite, that maybe you both meet someone new and it gets you excited, Page of Wands. The Judgment card says that either way, you're both needing to be excited about these changes. If it's a change towards this relationship, then yes, get excited. Try not to stay in this advocating, uh, advocation, advocating energy. You know, I'm standing up for myself. I'm going to advocate for the right thing, stand up for the right thing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Doing the right thing, stand up for what I believe in. This person shouldn't stay in this energy of, oh, woe is me. I'm so ashamed. I'm so, you know, regretful over what I did, what I said, you know sure the Aries triggered me but like whatever the case y'all are being called as a wake-up call from the universe judgment you know to maybe reconcile differences possibly you know it, it definitely could be that you both need to reconcile differences and or explain communicate something to this person like look this is what it is and I'm not even blaming you you do need to work on this, though. You know, it's not that I'm playing the blame game. You just, you need to work on this so that I can work on not standing up for myself. If I have a reason to stand up for myself, I'm going to do it. Don't give me a reason to stand up for myself, and I won't trigger you. How about that? Let's make a deal. Said, I did my own reading and got all these same cards that I've been seeing so far. Whoa, that's pretty synchronistic. Yeah, it's like... Just be more aware, you know? Think about what you say before you say it. Think about what you do before you do it. Like, you know, and I feel like even if you both separate, there is some sort of excitement, some passion, some, um, what's the word? Inspiration coming through for both of you that you're being called to be excited about life again whether it's because of this connection or because of another connection or a hobby that you both you know are mutually or unmutually you know whatever the case there's an example that I'm not thinking of but if you both have a hobby doesn't have to be the same hobby that gets you excited gets your blood pumping gets you like yeah, let's do it. No, Taurus is up next. Thank you for being patient with me. Yeah, if there's something of a hobby, no matter if it's the same hobby, that gets you, Aries, and your person uh, excited, you are being called to be excited and or inspired and or take inspired action towards this hobby. Um, if it is this connection, then yes, be excited because uh, I feel like this person could very well be brave and stay strong and not allow their triggers to affect their everyday actions, their everyday behaviors, and or, you know, how they make decisions. <clears throat> that could be very exciting. That, you know what, I'm going to man up, or I'm going to woman up, and I'm going to take accountability. Like, whoa, really? Yes, and I'm going to change the way I do things, the way I say things, and regards to you I mean I don't want to give you all false hope but at the same time even if it's not this connection that you both need to be excited about the universe 
is trying to wake you both up to something in your lives. You know, hey, Aries, there's a person being sent your way that takes accountability and is very self-aware and has emotional intelligence. And then, hey, Crosswatcher, there is a person that uh, you don't necessarily need to be as self-aware as uh, you need to or you know someone will appreciate your silliness your uh, sarcasm whatever the case you know whatever differences makes you and this person want to separate it's like there are people that appreciate those quote-unquote flaws personal flaws or uh you know what i'm saying and they you will attract people that like that you know it's not necessarily that you aries have to like everything this person does it's not that uh, this person, you know, is uh, going to make everyone run away from them because of their lack of self-awareness or their uh, lack of emotional intelligence. You know what I'm saying? There is going to be a perfect person for both of you and this person, Aries. And I, like I said, if you are wanting to reconnect with them, awesome. Communicate your boundaries. Communicate what this person needs to work on themselves. Uh, because when we work on ourselves, when we self-improve, that is our gift to not only our, our partner, but to humanity as well. I said, honestly, it would be nice. All, all I need is an apology and a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I mean, that's literally all it takes. You know, it's not that this person has to remain butthurt all the time. You know, feel it and then release it. Let them know. Especially if they're not as, you know, spiritually aware and or spiritually uh, whatever the description I'm trying to come up with. Sometimes I use big and smart words to sound more photosynthesis, you know what I'm saying? And other times I just cannot think of the word uh, that I need to say. With that being said, we do have the possible outcome and or advice. Nine of Pentacles, yes, and I am aware that I used the word photosynthesis in the wrong context. That was part of the joke, but any hoosers. Nine of Pentacles could be in the next week that your advice here is to remain single, remain comfortable in your environment, you know, uh, get into your bag, get focused on the bag, on making that money, honey. Um, it could be also the advice to get comfortable in this relationship if you feel like this person and you are needing to strap up for the next, what, 10 to 20 years, you know, and get a deeper understanding of each other, then yeah, get comfortable in this relationship. Uh, learn each other's boundaries. Learn what not, you know, to do, to say. Um, learn this person's triggers. You know, it's not necessarily that you have to adjust your own behavior and or communication towards this person's triggers but just by learning their triggers you will be able to know how to help fix them uh not help fix them help them fix themselves right you definitely could be encouraging you can help lift this person up in that regard you know you could help this person be more comfortable in this relationship by creating a safe space exactly teamwork makes the dream work um, it could be with the King of Pentacles that you're needing to ground yourself. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Especially if you and this person are trying to create a business together, or you're just trying to get a business uh, off the ground and become an entrepreneur. does not have to be the case for every single Aries, but yeah. Uh, definitely get grounded with the King of Pentacles. Take charge as this masculine energy. Um, be sure to be smart about your money. Know that there is a time and place to be spending. There's a time and place also to be saving. Um, yeah, get grounded. Even if it means having to go outside <clears throat> in this warm weather and walking barefoot, you know, just walk to the park. Walk around the block with no shoes on, no socks on. Just ground yourself. I actually need to uh, take my own advice 
now that it's warm weather, it's uh, nice out. I would love to just walk barefoot and just uh, ground myself a little more in that regard. But yeah, definitely uh, take stock of your money. Make sure that if you are creating space for this person emotionally, to also create space for them either financially and or you know, environmentally, if that's a word. Said, I've actually been planning on getting out and doing, is that a word? No. I was, I was gonna say, there's, there's another word, doing that, awesome. Lucky you, Illinois is still being bipolar, ugh. Um, yucky. Still, um, even if it's just a little bit uh, nipply out in Illinois, I'm sure a little bit of uh, cold feet could go a long ways. Not in the sense of like, you know, running away from this relationship per se, but in the context of, yeah, weather, cold feet, uh, grounding yourself. Any hoosers, I think that's what I have for y'all. I hope it was uh, helpful or insightful. I know in relationship to this relationship or in relation to this relationship, the the possible outcome and or the, uh, you know, advice is kind of general for the next week. But at the same time, by you focusing on what is important, this person could also follow suit, follow your lead, you know, especially if you are wanting to take the lead as King of Pentacles, masculine energy. If you are to, yeah, just have this person follow your lead, then, uh, yeah, exactly. Follow by example, or have this person follow by example. If you are a good example of how things should go uh, individually, I'm sure this person will recognize what you're doing and, you know, miss out on the good qualities that you have. And then maybe they'll cheer up and recognize, hey, I do have Aries as a blessing. These are the reasons why I miss Aries. With that being said, I am going to end the live stream here. Not here in New Hampshire. There was now just snow over the weekend. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, with that being said, yeah, I'm just going to end the live stream, y'all. Thank you for all the love and support. I'm going to start the Taurus reading next. Hope to see y'all there, especially if you are a Taurus and or on the cusp. And if not, y'all have uh, free will to choose. All right. Much love. Take care.